yeah. go for yeah. general yeah. information. Uh, what is the breed that we are stocking? Zam Zam Hajj. This is a classroom of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Farmers Field School in Progress in Zambia's Lusaka province. Here, they are discovering and experimenting with new production practices that can transform how they use antibiotics in their livestock production. Uh, before, we would use antibiotics when they get sick and to promote growth, I would use uh, the antibiotics and the boosters. In the curriculum, we have the biosecurity aspect, the production aspect, and also the issues of how to raise and keep the beds. Apamanji angalako buini, because apasti serezesa kugula gula mankwa alo yosia na siyana, apasti tayandrama zambiri. The good thing about it is that after cropping and selling, few people have come back to me asking me why your meat is so tasty. In 2017, three quarters of all antimicrobials sold worldwide were used on livestock. In 2019, an estimated 1.27 million people died from drug-resistant bacterial infections, a number higher than that of HIV or malaria that year. And we feel that in the legislation needs to be enhanced on uh, antimicrobial access by farmers and uh, individuals. In many low- and middle-income countries, antibiotics are often purchased and used without a prescription from a trained veterinarian or even following advice from an animal health care professional. While misuse of antimicrobials leads to treatment failures, antimicrobial resistance also threatens animal health. This poses a serious threat to Zambia's agriculture sector, which accounts for one-fifth of the Zambian economy. According to the Policy Monitoring and Research Center in Zambia, Livestock contributes to 42% of agriculture GDP and 50% of rural employment. 1.6 million households were involved in raising livestock. It's difficult to associate the outbreaks uh, of diseases in poultry to antimicrobial resistance because we do not have studies that have linked resistance to to a particular disease. Things may be happening, but we do not have evidence. FAO is working at the global level to develop what we call an international FAO anti-macrobial resistance platform to standardize the approach in terms of collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and sharing AMR, AMU data. The good news for farmers willing to reduce antibiotic use in poultry production is the growing awareness among consumers about food safety and the willingness to pay more for eggs and meat produced without any additives. This is reflected in the increasing demand for free-range chickens, which are generally raised in conditions where antibiotics are used only when the animals are sick and need them. Experts believe that the problem of AMR is still in its early stages. Now that we understand this, our job is to educate everyone so that all of us change our attitudes and do the right thing. There is hope if we act now. Efforts like FFS will prepare a new generation of farmers to produce food in a way that is profitable for them and protects our ability to use important life-saving antibiotics for better health and nutrition outcomes for humans and animals and supports livelihoods and economies.